Hey guys, it's Izzy and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see, is a bit of a different setup. I'm standing up so if I move then I'm sorry. But in today's video, I'm going to be going over with you some struggles of being a teenager. Now I have three years of experience of being a teenager. So I'd say I know quite a lot about being a teenager and it's great but it's also not very great <laughs> so I'm basically going to be explaining to you some struggles if you're also a teenager this might possibly be the most relatable video I've ever done um, if you're not a teenager you might be able to look forward to these or if you're older then you'll definitely hopefully be able to remember experiencing some of these okay let's get in to the list I think there's 10 so the first one is always being tired. Now obviously a load of things go on in your life when you're a teenager and me personally, I am always tired. I think I've got to the point of being tired now where I can sleep for 20 hours or three hours and I'm still the same amount of tired because it's just like a set amount now and it doesn't change. So it's quite annoying, always being tired. Um, but yeah, I guess this has bonuses that you know you can go out and not sleep at all you're still just as tired but yeah I wouldn't quite say it's a bonus <laughs> or anything at all definitely definitely a struggle okay so the next struggle that I came up with of being a teenager is exams now a lot of teenagers have GCSEs in the UK um, I know in America you have like loads of different exams and stuff. Exams have basically become just a statement part of a teenager's life and you have to put up with it. And it's so annoying because I know me personally, as I am a teenager, I means I get loads of opportunities, obviously like through YouTube and my Instagram and everything I'm trying to do. But my exams have to take priority because, you know, it only happens once. I'm only going to be a teenager once. So I have to put my full attention towards my exams which is annoying and they're stressful and there's hundreds of them so yeah that's definitely a struggle of being a teenager no one likes exams at all certainly not me <laughs> okay so the next one I didn't really know what to call but I ended up calling it like rude people now I don't know if this is throughout the entirety of people's lives or whether it is just the instance of being a teenager but every single person I seem to know is annoying or rude and yeah I just need to know a massive, you know, a large amount of people that are rude or horrible or annoying. And I don't know, I think it's just because people are still like immature or whatever, that they feel they need to like be like annoying or rude or just say things that like isn't necessary to say. But yeah, it's a real annoying struggle because you just have to put up with it and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't stop other people from saying things that really irritate you. So you just have to smile in their faces and be like, but yeah, it's annoying and I'll fully admit it's annoying. Okay, so the next one is insecurities. Now, hi teenager, it's not easy. I feel like every teenager experiences some sorts of insecurities. As you're growing up, you're developing, you're starting to, I don't really know, do, become you as a person and get to know yourself like who you are and whatever and i think with that brings a low alone brings along a load of insecurities because you start you start noticing or understanding or realizing things that you're a bit insecure about and again this links in with the last one people aren't necessarily the nicest when you're a teenager so you're kind of having to put up with everything all at once and it's not nice so yeah that's another one that you just kind of have to put up with but it's kind of annoying. Okay, really annoying. Okay, so the next one is hormones. Now, if you didn't know, when you become a teenager, you have a lot of hormones going on in your body. And this basically means that all minute, you're perfectly fine, you're smiling, you know, everything's good. And the next minute you're sat in the corner crying and nothing happened. I think me personally as a teenager I don't suffer too bad from this but I know a load of my friends um, literally it will be all over the place and they're a mess um, so yeah it's not great but you just have to kind of put up with it okay? deal with it I think it's getting used again to kind of fitting in with you and who you are and blah 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 but yeah you know 
hormones are a thing and they're all over the place when you're a teenager and sometimes that is a struggle because you know you want your tight basically all of these on top of each other just mean mighty teenager <laughs> okay so the next one links in with exams and it's basically that you never ever have time to do anything so whether it's because you're doing revision or I don't really know. Basically revision. It just means I personally find this, I never have time to do anything. Like it annoys me so much because I just, the day's gone. Like you go to school and my school starts like quite early and then you come home and then basically your day's disappeared. So yeah, that's quite annoying because you just don't have time to do anything you want and then you'll get loads of homework. So, you know, you don't have your weekend because you've got to do all of your homework. And yeah, it's just a cycle of annoyingness. Okay, so the next one, I, me and my friends all find annoying. And it's basically not having enough responsibility because of your age. And not that you want to, like, we were like, oh, you want to go, like, clubbing or whatever and we're not old enough. Like, it's not even that. It's just things that you, you can't do without parents, like, permission. And it's really irritating. Like, I'm not even sure you realise the amount of things that it's like, oh, you need a parent to agree to this. And I'm like, I am my own person. I will agree to this. And I find it quite often with my YouTube self. Like, I'll have brands contact me and they're like, oh, we need your parents like to sign this or their consent. And I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore because I'm lazy and I don't want to ask my mum for some consent. Like, she knows about it, but I can't be bothered to get her to like sign it. Okay, the next one. The next one me and my friend actually came up with. So the next one is that we don't actually get trusted. I think as teenagers, every teenager is different, but every teenager has the same reputation and everyone seems to think that teenagers aren't trustworthy and blah, blah, blah. And it's really irritating for adults to do this to us. Like, I don't know. I just think each teenager should be, you know, asked to things and judged off of their character rather than like the character that's presented just in a whole as teenagers and yeah it really irritates me because I'm like I am a trustworthy person you know you can trust me to do whatever and I'm gonna do it you know safely whatever but some people I know aren't but I am treated the same as them and I'm like how does this work but that's adults for you that's adults <laughs> Okay, so the next one is, I think quite a lot is actually expected of teenagers. Loads of people talk like trash about teenagers, like how all they do is do like watch TV and go on their phones and whatever. But actually, like a lot is expected of us. We're expected to, you know, do well at school whilst developing as a person, developing just as a, as a body, so, you know, an organism. Um, and yeah, learning to do loads of things that we haven't actually experienced before um, and getting out to grips with ourselves and the world and whatever and yeah people discredit um, teenagers a lot I think and I think we're actually better than some of people may think. Okay so the final one I don't want to be the girl that complains about school but I'm going to be for this video. School it's annoying. Okay. Now I am very grateful that I get an education and everything and I know that I am um, in like a lucky position and whatever to get an education because some people don't. However, it doesn't mean I like going. I don't want to wake up at half past six every day to go to school and I don't want to have to come home at like five o'clock because my whole day is gone and then I get loads of homework and whatever. You know, school's one of the places that I know it's good for me and I know I'm going to be grateful of it in the future but right now the last place I want to be and yeah I don't know I think some some teachers understand it and I really appreciate them teachers and you know like them teachers that get that it might not be our favorite place to be but we're still there and we're still trying our hardest but there's other teachers that are just so ignorant to the fact that when they were at school they probably hated school as well and yeah they're ignorant to it and I'm not saying I hate school I don't mind it too much however sometimes I'm just like I want to go do something this day and I always feel like with what I'm trying to do like school always gets in the way of it as well and um, like everything I say I'm like oh I have school that day but yeah anyway guys I hope you enjoyed these things this video is obviously supposed to be super light-hearted and being a teenager isn't so bad and um, but yeah I just wanted to make it a bit funny and 
Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in my next one.